Tiana and John. This one is just sad. No, I want you to take it. They're gonna yeah. send it back, babe. Let them know it's a native religion thing. Probably won't even like you going with your wedding band, will they? Mm -hmm. Surprisingly enough, she woke me up this morning and says it's time to go back to jail. I'm saddened by the fact that she's leaving, but I'm relieved by the fact that she made this decision. All by herself. Look at that. Look at these mommy hugs. Look, I really didn't think she was gonna go. I thought she was gonna say another day, and another day, and another day, and another day, and another day. But she's like, she's ready to go because she knows she cannot live in fantasy land. But look at this hug with her mom. They're both wearing this wooly thing and they look so cozy and cuddly. And oh, I hope actually that this this time did do something for her, even though I don't condone it because she should have turned herself in immediately. But I hope that it did do something for her, which is let her know what she's missing out on when she slips, when she relapses, right? Hmm. Oh, snug, snug, snug. <laughs> Mommy hugs, the best. Oh. Oh. I love you, mom. It's gonna be difficult to go back wondering if my mom's gonna pass away while I'm in there. Hmm. And then I don't start to think about the stuff until I get locked up. So that's a sad thing. She doesn't think about this stuff till she's locked up. So all this while she's running wild and free and when she's locked up, she's like, oh crap, this and that and that could actually happen whilst I'm awake. Yeah, that's really, really sad. It's like being in prison just awakens her senses. She's like, oh my God, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening. Yeah, sad. And John is just standing there, a whole defeated man. Like it must be so, so hard and heartbreaking for him as well. I do not like seeing this woman cry. She's already having respiratory issues. Like, this is terrible for a mom. This is terrible for a parent. Horrible. And they ask her what's her biggest fear. And her fear is that Christiana will be found, like, that she will pass away from this stuff. And then she also has a worry that the mom might pass away. Like, the whole thing is just horrible and scary. I know that she's okay when she's locked away. The pain that she's gonna go through, knowing that she got a chance to live this life for a minute, and then now it's gone. Yeah, baby. Hey. Right back in that car again. Um, the hand thing is probably not a good idea because if a police officer sees him driving with one hand, y'all might be in, pro in trouble, but okay. She's just trying to take whatever she can take right now in, in this moment. It's just sad. Hmm. It is a little disappointing that, you know, at least in my mind, I either didn't do enough or it just wasn't strong enough yet to keep her uh, out of this situation. See, that's what he meant when he was driving her, I think, from the weird empty parking lot place. And he was like, sometimes, is it there? Whatever, they were in the car. And he was like, sometimes I feel like, I know you don't want to hear this, but sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough. And I think that's what he meant. Because for her to relapse, he probably felt like he should have done more. Should he have called more? Should he have checked up on her more? Should he have, I don't know, sprinkled rose petals on her way to work instead of cash money that he was hiding, stashing <laughs> behind trees or whatever? <laughs> behind trees or whatever he was doing, I don't know. Um, yeah, he is wondering what could he have done that would have, you know, kept her on the straight path. It, it's not up to him, it's not It's not him. It is the, and that take, when that takes a hold of you, it's all over. I feel really clear headed now. Good. You're doing better than I am. So it did help, the, the staying at home did help, okay. She says you're my only friend. Hmm. If I show weakness in this situation, then I might not be strong enough to help them. The ones that depend on me. I mean, yeah, in this situation, it would not be the best idea if you would also start just bawling your eyes out whilst driving. So I get what he's trying to do. Like, somebody needs to be, you know, um, yeah, strong in the situation, I guess. But, you know, he's breaking down on the inside. This whole thing is just sad. You know, I have to be the strong one for them. You know, it doesn't matter how I feel. 
they you can tell from his eyes that this guy is hurting mm -mm. they need to know that you know i'm gonna help them make it through well that was sad i have nothing else to say that that's sad but she's making the right decision hope she doesn't have to stay in there too long because life out there is great and good especially now that she has john so I hope that she really really stays away from all the crap and also those halfway houses and stuff like that do they not feel some kind of I don't know shame like if this is how the system works and this is what can happen to somebody that goes in there and has tried to run away so many times how is she able to do that again this time why is she not being closely monitored why are they not making sure that those places around the halfway house don't like their actual houses around the halfway house that doesn't make any sense who is controlling this obviously then the halfway house the whole program is not working because you're not rehabilitating people to go back into society what you're doing is you're putting a bunch of broken people together and you have all the resources for them to do crazy stuff around them and what's supposed to keep them on the straight and narrow in this case somebody with a somewhat stable family eh, somewhat stable family unit should just go home and probably you know I mean, the halfway house is not working. This is the only thing I can think of. I don't know. Home even with an ankle bracelet, would that not be a better idea? I don't know. This one is crazy. But in any case, if you're already part of the family, make sure you hit the thumbs up. As on the subscribe button, comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while you're at it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. In the meantime, next time for Glorious Life, it's time to start what? Living it right. God bless. Mm.